Hello everyone, so I'm back and this time I'm actually at uh, one of the most popular cities in Italy and the biggest city in the Italian region of Emilia Romagna which is the city of Bologna and I'm sure a lot of you would actually recognize this city from the famous uh, Bolognese pasta but uh, here's a really quick top tip uh, it's actually not Bolognese if you were to walk into a restaurant in Bologna and ask for uh, bolognese they're gonna be stretching their heads because there is no such thing as bolognese the actual name for the dish is uh, called it's called ragu so anyway here's a top tip if you're if you're ever in Bologna so just remember and if you want to if you want to have some real bolognese just ask for ragu now this, at, the, at the moment I'm actually at the this big uh, street Viale which is known as Viale right here is Viale dell'Indipendenza which is the biggest and the most uh, popular uh, street in Bologna, in the city of Bologna. And in, it stretches all the way back. And the Bologna train station, if you were to come here on a train, uh, you'll be getting off the train all the way back uh, at the very end of this Viale. And uh, then you'll actually make your way into, uh, if you want to make your way into Piazza Maggiore. So t in today's video, we're actually, I'm just going to go uh, do a quick uh, walk around uh, I'm gonna go through the the Piazza Maggiore the main the biggest piazza in the city of Bologna and There's actually a few monuments that I'm gonna be I'm gonna, I'm gonna be showing you and I'm actually it's just, it's just gonna be a quick loop uh, From Piazza Maggiore to the two the, the two famous Bologna towers, which are the the, the, the two towers that Bologna is actually famous for so without further ado I'm actually gonna be switching to the rear camera and you'll see you'll get a look into this beautiful Piazza Maggiore so let, here we go okay so here we are now this street right here as you can see from the sign there is called Via Ugo Bassi it's well, it's also one of the busiest cities uh, big busy streets in Bologna and right there if you'll see it the very end are the two towers so let's head back towards the the, the Piazza Maggiore so now we're making our way towards uh, Piazza Maggiore so they, there's actually four buildings that we're going to be focusing on for today uh, and the one in, right in the, in the middle like with every, pretty much every other piazza in Italy the one common thing is that you'll always find is that the, the cathedral uh, is always right bang in the middle of any any famous or big piazza, and it's actually and it's the same as it's, it's the same case with Bologna, where the, this big cathedral that you're actually going to see right in the back in the middle is called uh, Basilicata di San Petronio. Now, the other thing is most of the monuments or the buildings that you're actually going to see today were constructed between the 11th and the 14th century. So. Here we are, here's the wide angle view of the main and the most popular building in the piazza, which is the Basilicata di San Petronio. And uh, well, from the actual these chairs, and they do actually have occasionally have events, just like in any other piazza, they have events and other uh, polit political rallies, concerts. And today, uh, from as you can see from the chairs that are actually lying around, they're planning on having an open uh, air cinema and uh, hence the projector. So that explains the projector now the the building so here's the here's the here's the cathedral right uh, once again and the the building to the left to the cathedral is a palazzo dei, uh, dei banchi so it's palazzo dei banchi and the building to the right to the very right adjacent to the uh the the, the cathedral is uh was known as uh, palazzo dei notai and this big building right here to the right on, on the right side i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to capture the whole building because it's a completely long building it was palazzo da curso where this is where all of the policing staff and all of you know similar departments we used to sit back in the day so that's bit of an overview of the actual piazza it's a big piazza it might not look as big today for the, for the obvious reasons that uh, we've actually got quite a few chairs sitting here but usually I mean when if there's there's no events going on it actually is, is it's actually it's, it's quite a big piazza so now as discussed earlier we're gonna be heading towards uh, doing the loop 
back towards the, the two towers, the most famous towers of Bologna. Uh, one interesting fact about Bologna is that back in the day, in, uh, during medieval times, Bologna was actually known as the city of towers. There were so many towers around, but unfortunately with time, there's only very few left. And the most popular ones are the ones that are actually here, right in, back in the middle of the city, which are the, the two uh, towers. Uh, now, here, so there's Piazza Maggiore, as you can see. Uh, if you're actually having difficulties, if you have in Italy, if you're, and you're having difficulties finding the name of the, the streets, uh, I mean, uh, with every few uh, meters or few hundred meters, they actually do intend to put uh, signs uh, on these pillars. So if you're having difficulties finding the name of the street, that's actually a good way of finding it. So now here, we're actually heading back towards uh, Via Ugo Bassi. And uh, the other thing you will you'll be you'll, that you'll be able to see is uh, that there's actually this uh, restaurants and bars and cafes are open. There's people on the streets, which shouldn't come as a surprise, especially because it's a Sunday. But even during weekdays, uh, uh, pre-COVID-19, this piazza, even on weekdays, is actually quite busy. So it's, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone if this uh, if the piazza is busy. But the, the one thing that you would actually be able to notice by looking at the people there around is uh, although all the businesses are open, you cannot enter or go get into, into any business without a face mask. So regardless of whether it's a restaurant or, 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 a, or a clothes shop or any, any other sort of, bus, of, of business or shop, you will require a face mask to enter the shop. Uh, now, just like with... Uh, the, my previous videos, the, the one that I did that copy, uh, these galleries, these beautiful galleries right there, they are known as Soto Portici and they're an ideal spot for businesses, uh, shops, restaurants, cafes, and uh, they're full in, in like, and uh, just like other cities, uh, the the these Soto Portici's right here, they they're full of businesses, of various kind of businesses, uh, so. Uh, that's you shouldn't that shouldn't come as a surprise now. Uh, so we're now turning towards the actual towers, and they should come into your view. Uh, okay. And there we are. So now, with these towers, uh, just uh, something to be noted is the one to the right is actually called Torre degli Asinelli. So that's the bigger one, and the one to the left is called Garisenda Torre. Garisenda. Now, both of these towers were actually constructed. The the, the, the name, the reason behind the name uh, Azinelli is uh, due to the fact that it was actually constructed by a landlord family who used to live around this area back in the day, and who were the uh, the Azinelli family. Uh, now, the other thing about uh, interesting fact about these towers is for people for eagle-eyed views is. As you might already be able to notice from this still right here, that they're both tilting at an angle. So now it's just sort of like it's obviously not as much as the, the, the famous Pisa Tower, but both of these towers are, are, do actually tilt at a slight angle. And uh, I, know, I know for a fact that the one to the left, the smaller one, they actually uh, back in the day, back in the medieval times, they actually had had done some repairs to it to make sure that it wouldn't collapse. Uh, but uh, I mean, if you're interested uh, in knowing more history about these monuments, the best place to go, uh, the best place to go would be the Bologna Tourism website, and it's actually quite a very extensive, very good website with a lot of knowledge uh, about you know, the local monuments. Unfortunately, this video, video is only going to be restricted to sort of like the, the, the main piazza, but because due to the shortage of time. But uh, if you are actually, if you do intend to come to Bologna. Uh, there's uh, the, the the Bologna tourism website does actually provide uh, an extensive extensive information about the local monuments. And now the other thing about these towers is that not only can you actually you, you can take take pictures, but they do even have they do also have gadget tours uh, going all the way up to the tower or to the top of the tower. And uh, I'm actually glad to say that uh, as we speak, that the, the gadget tours are actually open. And uh, now, as I make as, as as I make my way towards the tower, you'll I'll, I'll show you where the, where you have to queue up to get in the tower. And once again, uh, you have to uh, buy uh, the the tickets. You can actually buy the tickets on the Bologna on the Bologna tourism website. So 
you can actually uh, buy the tickets from the Bologna Tourism website. Uh, so, it's right there. And the beautiful towers. Uh, actually, I can't remember the exact uh, dimensions for this tower, but it's a really thin, as you can see, a really thin uh, uh, and tall tower. And uh, so, so I'll just get to the end of the tower, uh, to uh, actually to the entrance, and then I'm gonna wrap it up right there. And I'll just show you. Uh, there's also well, so just the the tourism office, and you can also actually buy tickets for right from the tourism office, uh, the Bologna tourism uh, local tourism office, which is located right in the bang in the middle of the of the of Piazza Maggiore, or you can buy them online. Is and so here's another view of this beautiful medieval tower and the smaller one. So this, once again, the one to the right is Torre degli Asinelli. It's right here, and the Garisenda is the one to the left. Uh, and if you see carefully, right there, those people said standing there. They're actually waiting for, for to be taken up the tower, uh, so that's the that's where you actually have to queue up for the for the guided tours. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I do know for the fact that you can actually get up this one, the one the, the bigger one. I'm not sure if the same can be done for the for the one on the left. But anyway, that was a quick preview, and I'm just going to turn back towards the beautiful Via Ugo Viale Ugo, Ugo Bassi, and as you can see, the beautiful view of Viale Ugo, Ugo Bassi and again everything's open life is actually coming back to normal uh, and again I mean the show has to go on so I guess uh, that uh, shouldn't come as a surprise uh, and uh, it's actually good to see that life coming back to normal people on the streets uh, restaurants and bars are open uh, so yeah, if, if you're planning a visit, please do, uh, do visit the, the Bologna Tourism website. And there's actually, uh, and, and it's not just, I mean, there's also, uh, obviously a lot to see uh, inside around the, the actual CBD, the, the central business district area, but there's also quite a few monuments outside the city which are definitely worth uh, checking out. So, uh, so guys, I'm, so I'm gonna wrap it up right here uh, because I've just noticed that I've gone past the action, the the ideal 10 minute mark so once again thanks for watching and if uh, you've got any specific questions about Bologna or any of these monuments please do uh, put them in the comment section I'll be happy to answer any questions specific or unspecific or not specific to, to, to Bologna and uh, I'll see you on the next one so thanks for watching thank you